Hello friends, this is biochemistry part 2 tables. Um, now uh, we will read about carbamyl phosphate synthetase 1 and 2 difference. So, CPS2 is a rate limiting step for pyrimidine synthesis. Uh, we know that we have studied in the previous video and now CPS1 is an important step, I mean rate limiting step for urea cycle. Okay, now what is the difference between CPS1 and CPS2? CPS1 is present in mitochondria whereas CPS2 is present in cytosol. And CPS1, ammonia is a source of nitrogen, whereas glutamine is a source of nitrogen for CPS2. Just when pyrimidine synthesis, CPS2, pyrimidine, glutamine, okay, and it is uh, present in cytosol. Okay, urea cycle, urea, ammonia, and it is present in mitochondria. Now, substrate level phosphorylation. There are two substrate level phosphorylation steps in glycolysis and in one in uh, TCA cycle, very, very important. When a substrate is used to phosphorylate ADP to ATP independent of the presence of oxygen, this is called substrate level phosphorylation. phosphorylation. So, in glycolysis, ADP is converted to ATP. The two steps are 1, 3 DPG is converted to 3 phosphoglycerate by 3 phosphoglycerate kinase. They can ask uh, the uh, steps like, is, uh, like what is the end product of substrate level phosphorylation glycolysis, and they can give. Uh, uh, options like uh, 3 phosphoglycerate and pyruvate okay or they can ask what are the enzymes uh, which catalyze uh, uh, these steps okay so first one is 13 dpg2 3 phosphoglycerate and the enzyme is 3 phosphoglycerate kinase second step is uh, pep that is phosphoenol pyruvate to pyruvate and the enzyme is pyruvate kinase so the two enzymes are 3 phosphoglycerate kinase and pyruvate kinase and TCA cycle GDP is converted to ATP not ATP is converted ADP to ATP but it is GDP to ATP and it is the step is succinyl CoA is converted to succinate okay by succinyl CoA synthetase succinyl CoA to succinate by succinyl CoA synthetase okay so the step in TCA which uh, is, uh, catalyzes this uh, substrate level phosphorylation phosphorylation is succinyl CoA synthetase and the step is succinyl coa to succinate now uh, glycogen storage diseases very very important this is a table made by a student who is preparing for uh, uh, usmle okay this is presented well so i thought i'll just read it out for you so uh, there are six types of glycogen storage diseases first one is own gorky disease the enzyme deficient is glucose 6 phosphatase 1 gorky so g for g glucose 6 phosphatase and it is type 1 so glucose is the first uh, uh, you know like basic sugar so you just remember for first one it starts with glucose glucose 6 phosphatase 1 gorky disease okay and uh, here the glycogen uh, structure is we uh, they can also ask about the glycogen structure so here the glycogen structure is normal and the clinical features are severe hypoglycemia lactic acidosis hepatomegaly hyperuricemia hyperlipidemia short stature doll like faces and uh, protruding abdomen okay and emaciating extremities these are all the features of von Gerke. so everything is there here so as we are hypoglycemia lactic acidosis hepatomegaly hyperlipidemia hyperuricemia short stature doll like faces protruding abdomen and emaciating uh, oh, is that um, yeah uh, so emaciating uh, extremities and second one is pompy disease so pompy you should always remember pompy is uh, lysosomal alpha 14 glucosidase deficiency here they have just correlated uh, o with o in pompy o and lysosomal o so pompy disease is lysosomal alpha 14 glucosidase deficiency but the question they are asked is about cardiomegaly and death in two years so both bits are repeated so in pompey you see cardiomegaly muscle weakness and death by two years of age and uh, uh, glycogen structure glycogen like material uh, in inclusion bodies glue okay glycogen structure is glycogen uh, like material in inclusion bodies something like that inclusion bodies are present in uh, pompey okay uh, type 3 is cores so here uh, in type 3 and 4 uh, the next alphabet uh, uh, comes in deficient enzyme like cd 
that is Coriz disease debranching enzyme and the um, short outer branches with single glucose residue the glycogen structure will be short outer branches with single glucose residue there will be mild hyperglycemia and liver enlargement is there so they will only ask about debranching enzyme here in coris so if c comes d should come next you just remember cd coris is debranching enzyme that is type 3 type 4 is anderson's disease anderson's again here uh, branching enzyme will come a b a is followed by b so uh, anderson's disease is branching enzyme here very few branches are there towards the periphery and uh, there will be uh, infantile uh, hypotonia cirrhosis and death by two years of age there will be infantile hypotonia cirrhosis and death by two years of age even in pompey death is by two years and anderson death is by two years okay uh, and fifth one is mccardles m for m so muscle glycogen phosphorylase here the glycogen structure is normal so muscle cramps will be there on exercise weakness and myoglobinuria so myoglobinuria is present in mccardles disease that is type 5 Type 6 HERS, HERS H for H, Hepatic Glycogen Phosphorylase. So, Hepatic Glycogen Phosphorylase and uh, here the glycogen is normal again. There will be mild fasting hypoglycemia, Hepatomegaly will be there and cirrhosis will be there. So, what is the difference between HERS and Von Gerg? Von Gerg is there the hypoglycemia is very severe in Von Gerg is whereas in HERS it is mild fasting hypoglycemia. Okay and the enzyme deficient is Hepatic glycogen phosphorylase phosphatase i guess phosphatase okay so just repeating type 1 is von gorky uh, g for g glucose 6 phosphatase glycogen is normal and all the major features are present here doll like faces short stature all hyperacemia uh, uricemia hyperlipidemia hepatomegaly lactic acidosis severe hypoglycemia etc and now type 2 is pompey pompey is for heart so uh, so pumps heart pumps okay so cardiomegaly uh, muscle weakness and death by two years of age and o for o lys lysosomal alpha 14 glucose test deficiency here inclusion body like glycogen will be there core is c d c is followed by d that is d branching enzyme okay here short outer branches like single uh, glucose residue can be there because this is d branching enzyme so it d branches and single glucose residues can be there and mild hypoglycemia and liver enlargement can be there okay and uh, anderson's in anderson's uh, infantile hypotonia will be there and death is by two years again cirrhosis can be there very few branches will be there towards uh, periphery the enzyme is branching enzyme m for m type 5 muscle glycogen phosphorylase that is uh, muscle cramps and weakness and myoglobinuria are there on exercise and herses h for h hepatic glycogen phosphatase and um, phosphorylase i guess just confirm it whether it is phosphatase or phosphorylase and uh, here uh, mild fasting hypoglycemia with uh, hepatomegaly and cirrhosis will be there okay this is about glycogen uh, storage diseases now glucose transporters uh, we saw types of collagen okay type 1 2 3 4 like that glute 1 2 3 4 is also very important topic now um glute 1 and 3 they combine because these two are present in common tissues like the most tissue most com most of the tissues glute 1 and 3 are present rbc and brain also they are present okay and glute 2 is present in liver and pancreas beta cells of pancreas glute 2 glute 4 is present in skeletal muscle and adipose tissue just remember glute 4 is very important it is present in skeletal muscle and adipose tissue why it is important because it is insulin dependent so insulin stimulated glu glucose uptake is a function okay is stimulated by exercise in skeletal muscles so insulin independent 5 amp activated kinase okay so <clears throat> glute 1 and glute 3 are present in rbc and brain glute 2 are present in liver and pancreas beta cells glute 4 is present in skeletal muscle and adipose tissue okay so glute 1 and 3 responsible for basal uptake of glucose glute 2 is responsible for uptake of release of glucose by the liver beta cell glucose sensor for insulin release okay this is beta glucose sensor what is the beta glucose sensor for insulin release is glute 2 just remember okay 
so in liver and beta cells in rbc and brain glute 1 and glute 3 glute 4 and skeletal muscle and adipose tissue and just remember this km value km is almost 1 mm in uh, glute 1 and glute 3 glute 2 it's 15 that is maximum km glute 4 it's 5 so they can ask maximum km that is uh, in glute 2 so glute uh, uh, glute 2 uh, has maximum km that is 15 mm so km is much higher than glucose so it follows first order kinetics okay and now lipoprotein disorders i'll just cover this uh, uh, very superficially type 1 uh, to type 5 are there they'll just ask what's the deficiency present okay so uh, all are hyper uh, lipoproteinemias type 1 is deficiency of cpl or deficiency of apo c2 okay uh, so they have written 1 as c so type 1 is deficiency of cpl or apo c2 type 2 is 2 they have written as 2 l's okay all are roman letters so in roman letters 2 l's are written so ldl type 2 is for ldl okay decrease synthesis of ldl receptors is a pathology type 3 hello uh, is 3 they have inverted and uh, made it as e so deficiency of apoe type 4 they have written as vldl okay because uh, v and uh, l can be written from 4 so vldl increase in vldl okay you should rem uh, you should remember uh, type 2 is decrease in of LDL receptors whereas type 4 is increase in VLDL okay both type 4 and type 5 there will be increase in VLDL and chylomarcans in uh, type 5 see 5 they have written as V here there will be increase in uh, VLDL and chylomicrons due to decreased activation and release whatever it is so first one is uh, first one roman letters one is written like c so it is cpl or uh, deficiency of apo c2 apo c2 just remember two is again two they have written as i told two l's so ldl decrease in synthesis of ldl receptors type 3 they have written as e 3 is e so apo e apo c is 1 apo e is 3 and type 4 is type 4 and type 5 just remember it is increase in increase type 1 to 3 it is decrease so type 4 is vldl increase in vldl type 5 is increase in vldl and chylomicrons okay now comes pingo lipoidosis this is very 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 important okay they can ask any enzyme deficiency all are repeated bits so uh, GM1 gangliosidosis is called Landing's disease. So Landing's disease is GM1 gangliosidosis. The enzyme deficiency is beta galactosidase. Okay. And the substrate is GM1 gangliosid. GM2 gangliosidosis variants, two are there. One is BB1 variant and one is O variant. BB1 variant is called Tay-Sachs disease. The enzyme deficiency is hexosaminidase A. This is a very common repeated bit. And the substrate is GM2 ganglioside. And GM2 gangliosidosis variant O is Sandoff's disease. In Sandoff's disease, uh, hexosaminidase A and B both are um, uh, both are uh, environment deficient. So the substrate is GM2 gangliosid again. Now metachromatic uh, leukodystrophy. The enzyme deficient is aryl sulfatase and the substrate is sulfatide. Aryl sulfatase A metachromatic leukodystrophy sulfatide. Krebs disease. Krebs disease galactosyl ceramidase and galactosyl ceramide is a substrate. Okay, Fabry's disease repeated bit. See, all uh, all these are uh, autosomal recessive. I think except Fabry's, which is X-linked recessive. Okay, just remember this is a repeat bit. Fabry's is a X-linked recessive disorder. So, uh, Fabry's alpha galactosidase, beta galactosidosis, GM one gangliosidase. That is Landing's disease. Uh, just remember alpha galactosidase is Fabry's disease. Galactosyl spingo lipids gauchas disease is beta glucosidase and glucoceramide is a substrate neiman pix disease variants are a b c spingomyelin is a substrate 
Fibrous disease. Don't get confused between Fabrice and Fabus. Fabrice it is alpha galactosidase. Okay, and uh, Fabrous disease it is ceramidase, and the substrate is ceramidase. So Fabrous disease. Uh, it is ceramides and ceramide is a substrate. Olman's disease, acid lipase uh, and cholesterol ester is a substrate. Okay, acid lipase is deficient. Austin disease, it is multiple sulfatases and sulfatide is a substrate. So, Farber's disease, it is ceramides. Okay, Olman's disease, it is acid lipase. Austin's disease is multiple sulfatases. Neiman picks, you know, sphingomyelase, cultures. Gauchers remember beta glucosidase. Okay. Gauchers is a repeat bit. Gauchers you should remember. Gauchers is beta glucosidase. Okay. Fabris is uh, alpha galactosidase. So Fabris is alpha galactosidase. Somehow we have to relate uh, Fabris and galactose. Gauchers and glucose. So G for G glucose. Fabris is galactose. Okay. Alpha galactose disease fabris G for uh, G that is beta glucosidase. Okay, and the substrate is glucoceramide in cultures. Crabis is galactosyl ceramidase. Metachromatic uh, liquid is aryl sulfatase A. Sand of disease both hexosomes A and B. Okay, and the Tay-Sachs disease it is hexosomes A. And the Landing's disease or GM1 it is beta galactosidase. Okay, don't get confused between Fabris and GM1. Fabris is the most common aspect. So, Fabris is most common. So, it starts with alpha. So, alpha galactosidase. Gauchers is uh, G for glucose. So, glucosidase, but it is beta. Now comes mucopolysaccharidosis. They, there are uh, seven types and type 5 is not there here. So, uh, you need not remember everything. You just remember... Uh, the, the neurological environment is more common in this uh, mucopolysaccharidosis. There can be mental retardation. Uh, I mean, uh, only in few it is there. But the common is neurological involvement, hydrocephalus, cervical myopathy. All these things can be there. But the uh, two important things that you have to remember are hunters and hurlers. Okay, hurler syndrome or she syndrome is mucopolysaccharid one. Okay, so alpha L iduronidase and mental retardation is prominent. Mucopolysaccharidosis 2 is Hunter syndrome, it is iduronate 2 sulfatase and hydrocephalus mental retardation and seizures can be there. Okay, so uh, first one is Hurlers, also called as uh, She's syndrome. Okay, uh, and it is alpha L alpha L iridonase. Second one also starts with iridonate to sulfatase that is hunters. Okay. And hydrocephalus mental reaction and seizures are present in type 2. Okay. And uh, you just remember from th 3 uh, to 4, 3 and 4, there are subtypes. Okay. 3 has A, B, C, D, and 4 has A, B. Okay. These are called San Filippo's syndromes. And uh, 3 is San Filippo, 4 is Marchio. Okay, 3 is San Filippo, 4 is Marchio. And uh, 6 is Martex Lamy syndrome. So, Martex Lamy syndrome. And 7 is SLY syndrome. Now comes porphyrias. So, porphyrias are uh, deficient enzymes in heme synthesis. So, each enzyme, when deficient, give rise to. Uh, a type of porphyria so almost all uh, porphyrias are acquired except uh, congenital erythropoietic i guess it is uh, uh, congenital erythropoietic porphyria is um, um, hereditary i guess okay so yeah we will uh, continue with uh, the enzymes which are deficient in porphyrias so when ala synthesis ala synth see ala synthesis is the rate limiting step of heme synthesis okay so ala synthesis is uh, deficient it causes x-linked protoporphyria or x-linked sideroblastic anemia so ala synthesis can cause x-linked disease 
ओके अला डीहैड्रटेज अला डीहैड्रटेज डेफिशियसी कैन काज अला डीहैड्रटेज डेफिशियसी पोर्फरिया ओके एंड अक्यूट इंटरमीडियंट पोर्फरिया इज हेच एम बी सिंथे डेफिशियसी सर इज हाइड्रॉक्सी मिथाइल सिंथे डेफिशियसी ओके मिथाइल बिलेन सिंथे डेफिशियसी एंड यूरो पोर्फरजन थ्री सिंथे ओके यूरो पोर्फरजन थ्री सिंथे कॉजस् कंजनटल एरथ्रोपाटिक पोर्फरिया जस्ट रिमेबर थ्री सिंथे ओके एंड यूरो पोर्फरजन डी कॉर्बोक्सलेज कॉजस् पोर्फरिया क्यूटेनिया टारडा टारडा फॉर डी सी जस्ट रिमेबर डी कॉर्बोक्सलेज एंड टारडा डी कम्स देर एंड डी कम्स हियर ओके दिस आलसो कॉल्ड एज हेपैटिक एरिथ्रोपाटिक पोर्फरिया एंड दिस इज द मोस्ट कॉमन पोर्फरिया ओके फ्यू प्रेजेंट विथ Skin symptoms and few present with neurological symptoms. I'll uh, or tell you in other slide which are erythropoietic porphyrias and which are uh, hepatic. I think porphyrias. I'll tell the difference. Okay, and uh, core core carbofyrinogen oxidase deficiency causes hereditary carbo. Porphyria. This you can easily uh, recognize because carbo porphyrinogen oxidase causes carbo porphyria, which is hereditary. Okay, and proto porphyrinogen oxidase causes variegate uh, porphyria. So variegate is caused by uh, oxidase. Proto porphyrinogen oxidase. Ferrochelates causes erythropoietic proto porphyria. So ferrochelates you can remember uh, because ferro is iron. Iron is present in uh heme of rbc so erythro is rbc that way you can remember ferro is present in erythro so erythropoietic protoporphyria is ferro chelates okay chelates so again i'll repeat ala dehydrates causes ala dehydrates deficiency porphyria hydroxy methyl bilane synthesis hmb bilane hmb synthesis causes acute intermittent porphyria okay this is mostly acquired yeah यूरो पोर्फनाइजन थ्री सिंथे कॉजस् कंजनटल एथ्रोपाटिक पोर्फरिया सो कंजनटल इज आलवेज थ्री जस्ट रिमेबर थ्री यूरो पोर्फरजन डी कॉर्बोक्स डी फार डी पोर्फेरिया क्यूटनिया टाडा और हेपैटिक एथ्रोपाटिक पोर्फेरिया एंड दिस इज मिक्सड मिक्स कैंड ऑफ पोर्फेरिया ओके पी सी टी एंड कोप्रो पोर्फेरनाइजन ऑक्सीडेज कॉजस् हेरीडेटरी कॉर्पो पोर्फेरिया सो कॉर्पो कॉर्पो Protoporphyrin oxidase. When oxidase is there, it is variegate porphyria. Ferrochelates is there when it is erythropoietic porphyria. So porphyria with an autosomal recessive pattern of inheritance include ala dehydrase deficiency porphyria, congenital erythropoietic porphyria, and some cases of erythropoietic porphyria. When erythropoietic porphyria is caused by mutations in ala S2 gene, it is an X-linked dominant pattern of inheritance. Okay. So uh, they are saying uh, autosomal pa recessive pattern can be there in ala dehydrase uh, def um, uh, deficiency porphyria, congenital erythropoietic porphyria that is uroporphyrin three synthase deficiency, and some cases of erythropoietic porphyria, uh, which can uh, occur as X-linked dominant pattern is erythropoietic porphyria when there is ala S2 gene deficiency. Porphyria are of two types: erythropoietic and hepatic forms. Erythropoietic forms are congenital erythropoietic, erythropoietic protoporphyria, porphyria, and erythropoietic carpo porphyria. Among this, autosomal recessive is congenital erythropoietic porphyria. Generally, all porphyria are autosomal dominant. In hepatic forms, which is autosomal recessive, ala dehydrogenase deficiency porphyria. Okay, acute intermittent uh, porphyria is uh, acquired form and it can be familial. And hereditary porphyria, porphyria, variegate porphyria, and uh, porphyria cutanea tarda are hepatic forms. Por porphyria cutanea, cutanea tarda is the commonest uh, form that we see in our uh, OPDs. Okay, thank you, thank you, and uh, we'll meet in the next video. Good luck.